What is up guys, this is a series where we take a look at the PBE and who I think is going to be really strong moving into patch 6.11. There are quite a few things that are going to indirectly shake things up so they're not as obvious, but let's jump into the first thing. Now Triforce is being changed on the PBE, they're moving around some stats basically. The cost is down, attack speed is up, cooldown reduction is up, but the crit chance is removed. This might not seem like a huge change on its own, but when you put that on specific champions, it can get a little bit crazy. First off, let's look at the nerf parts they're removing the crit chance and this is kind of bad for anyone who needed that crit mostly gangplank corky maybe even yasuo though you do get some more attack speed i guess so it's a bit different when we're looking at the new stats though irelia is going to be my power pick this patch with this item already doing decently well but now the item works perfectly for her the cooldown reduction is nice it means we can have our w up time more and we actually have a quicker stun as well most of her damage was from her auto attacks anyway so more attack speed means we're going to attack more we're going to do more damage and we get more hits with a W plus the crit chance wasn't needed for her anyway honestly if Riot said to me here okay take the old Triforce do whatever you want to it and make it perfect for Irelia this is basically what I would have done Jax is another one that is very similar and it's like here we go again Jax and Irelia are just back to meta again the cooldown reduction means we can use our W and Q more so we can do more damage the attack speed means more thumping auto attacks again crit chance wasn't needed at all and he's also getting a nice little buff this patch his passive stacks now fall off one at a time rather than all at once and this is a lot bigger than it seems there are eight stacks now if you're at four stacks it will take a lot longer to fall off now it makes him even harder to deal with before you could just like stop him auto attacking for a few seconds and then you could dive onto him when they fall off but now it's actually a lot harder to do that now both of these picks are pretty good against tanks honestly but not these damaged tanks and thankfully right has us covered there as well almost like they want these two to come up and spank everyone echo is getting a bunch of nerfs aimed again at reducing this tank echo build and encouraging you to build AP. I still think he's going to be useful though it's going to take more than that to kill tank echo but he will be weaker this patch. Maokai is getting nerfed as well this patch but it's not that big at all. Nowhere near as big as echo. Your health regen is down a bit your Q cooldown is up at early ranks it just makes him a little bit easier to lane against. While we're talking about item changes there's another one. I'm actually going to talk about wits end as well. One of probably the most underrated items in the entire game. It's really good on bruises and on AD carries in some cases as well well, both where we are relying on heavy attack speed to increase our damage. Now it's going to be cheaper this patch, it's 2,500 gold, that is so cheap for an offensive item. 40% attack speed, 40 magic resist, but the passives are so good. The first one, basic attack still 40 bonus damage on hit. 40 is so high, runins by the way is 15. The other passive is basic attack still 5 magic resist from the target, stacks up to 5 times, so you can have a total of 65 magic resist stacked on this item. To put that into perspective mercurial is 35 magic resist more mamortius is 40 and this could be really good for certain champions it's a mix between defense and offense sadly irelia and Jax would be really good with this as a magic resist defensive item you'd get the attack speed so you attack even more you already have the attack speed from triforce as well cogmore will be ridiculous with this item i guarantee you people will start to build this now 40 on hit damage is massive with his w when you're attacking that fast as far as ad carries go you could build this against sustain magic damage you don't really want it against burst but damage over time that's fine and anyone that builds runins can apply that in aoe so could really use it i do want to talk a little bit about ad here surprise surprise right i never talk about ad honestly though lucian is getting a nerf this patch but i don't think it's enough or it's not really the right idea lucian is just too good at everything that is the problem right now it's not the build it's just lucian himself is so good at everything and this doesn't really affect anything except his lane poke damage now sure it does make his lane phase a little bit weaker kind of easier to deal with but the korean build is not about poke really it's about going more aggressive and starting a full-on fight in my opinion it's not really going to knock him off the top spot that much but misfortune kind of has that covered at the moment misfortune is a great counter to lucian right now she is way stronger with this korean build and dust blade as well i know win rate doesn't necessarily reflect that yet but it's for two reasons i think the first one is misfortune wasn't that popular before this build so people are learning her while learning the build at the same time the second one is she is not mobile at all she has no real like dash or anything like that she does way more damage with the build but if you position badly and get caught then you're going to die i think we're still likely to see a very dominant lucian ezreal meta where staying safe is the most important thing especially if we start seeing some irelia and Jax as well that is actually another thing though ezreal is probably my most played champion you guys know that already but when i saw this triforce changed i made a little bit of a mess in my pants seriously though i think it's actually going to be good in a hybrid blue build part of the reason we got iceborne gauntlet over triforce 
course was because it's cheaper and it's more cooldown reduction. We also get the kite too as a bonus. With this change, we're going to get the same cooldown reduction now and some more attack speed, which is good with Blade of the Rune King when we get that more percentage damage. Something a lot of people don't realize is there's a massive difference between the Sheen proc. So it's 100% base AD as bonus damage on Ice One Gauntlet. It's 200% on Triforce. Triforce is way more damage. We get rid of the crit that we didn't want anyway, and I think this could be super good now. I'm going to have to test it a bit more. You do lose the kiting, which kind of sucks, but if I'm right, I'll make a proper video about it. So there are a few other things to talk about before we end this video. Junglers and the mid lane. Now junglers first. Again, the top tier carry junglers, Kindred and Nidalee are both getting nerfed again. What a surprise. For Nidalee, the move speed toward a hunted target is down to 1400 range from 5500. That's a bit of a difference. The pounce reset you get from hunted targets now scales with levels and ultimate rank. Basically, it's going to be a higher cooldown earlier into the game. These aren't actually huge, but they're hitting her farming again early and trying to stop her being as much of a pain early into the game. Kindred is probably the bigger one. Well, definitely the bigger one. The passive now increases the Q damage by five per rank. That sounds nice, right? But the base Q damage is massively down at later ranks now. To get the same damage out of your Q, you'd have to get nine stacks to do the same damage at rank five. That's quite a lot of stacks. Your E slow is down to 50% as well, and the damage is down early, but still the same later into the game. And in theory, early game now should only be a small bit weaker. Your mid game is going to feel it a lot more though. And then super late game, you'll do more damage in theory. The reason I'm bringing this up specifically is because of things like the new Triforce change, I actually think we could see a shift now to carry top laners and tanks in the jungle more. Cinder Hulk is really strong right now. The meta is slowing down slightly. Tank junglers are less punished by carry junglers as well. The tanks top laner getting nerfed slowly. Carry items are getting buffed. And the carry laners are already in a decent spot. Basically, I think the best tanks right now are in the jungle. Volibear, Skana, Amumu, Sejuani, and the best carry bruisers are top lane like Irelia, Jax, Pantheon, Jarvan, and Fizz. My one to keep an eye out on the jungle would actually be Vi though. I know she's not amazing, but the new Triforce is really good for her. Cooldown reduction means more ults, more engage, more snowball. Attack speed means more W damage, and crit was really useless on her before anyway. Cinder Hulk into Triforce or Warrior into Triforce I think would be really good, and I think we could see her coming back a little bit. So finally, mid lane. Nazir is getting knocked off with some pretty big nerfs. Soldiers cannot be used on towers anymore, and your ult duration is lowered to three seconds at all ranks. That's about half of what it was before. Now, he's still going to do a ton of damage, but there's just less utility in his kit now and protection for his team. In my opinion, he'll still be strong, but not quite as broken as he is now. The problem with going against Azir is he can hit the back line from his back line. It's crazy. Like, he can deal with the enemy AD carry and actually just zone them out of the fight or kill them in a few hits late game. The bigger thing is this will open up more picks mid lane, though, one of which which Velkoz is getting a bit of a buff this patch. I think Velkoz could be a really good champion to learn as well because Riot seems so hell-bent on making him strong. They keep buffing him and they keep talking about how they want to adjust him until he's in a good place. This patch they're making his Q have a better slow, so they're encouraging you to max your Q now, and the ultimate now applies passive slowly, so it's going to be more damage. He's a good poke champion in this meta anyway, crazy damage, and I think he could be strong moving forward, but as I said, I'm going to guess that if he isn't strong right now in this patch, he will be in future patches. So anyway, that wraps up this video. Let me know what you think of my picks down in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. But for now, let's go to the robots.